Well, good morning. We have returned to the world of the Turnum, and today is the last day of the beta. So, it's a special. We're going to try to see how much we can get done today. Let's see. I am looking for the arcane crafting station. Oh, it's the kitchen. The outfitting station where you can make clothes for your character. Um. Oh! We need to talk to this guy. This is the syndicate representative. Are you here to seek knowledge? Then this is proof you have wisdom. Let me put it this way. In this world, there are those who think and those who do not. We are the former, and we look down on the latter. We believe in facts and science. Okay. So, I have no idea why this guy is just hunched over, looking like he's getting ready for some shenanigans. That really isn't how intellectuals act at all. Interesting. Now, what is this? Okay. Oh. All right. Now. Still looking for hmm. still work looking for. So, this is about the Marauders. Okay. So we have intelligence, we have strength. to this young lady here. Who's brave enough to approach the Marauder Commander? The Marauders are a community of warriors who believe in self-improvement. If we are blessed with eternal life, we should use it to sharpen our combat skills to perfection. Okay. What station is this? workshop. So this is where you craft various things, including your housing items. Muskets, bows, ammunition, tools.
furniture. There's all the furniture stuff here that I know. Because there are recipes that drop in the world that increase your knowledge. Okay. That is still not the station I want. Don't work. I'm looking for the arcane station. Melter, horde. Where is the arcane station? Is that it? No, that's a supply cart that I can't use because I'm not part of the pack. Okay. Well, on the bright side, while we're running around here like a head with our chicken cut off, we have found two of the three faction leaders. So that's good. Ah, bloom. Need to do that real quick. Okay. Now, tannery. Will we turn our hides into leather? Ah. Okay. That's why I couldn't find it. I was expecting something a little more grand. make some more of those potions. Are we serious? Okay. We want this one. Okay. All right. Go up here. And turn in these two tasks. There we go. Okay. Now, we, uh... Oh, that's right. We need to find the Covenant leader, which I know exactly where they are. In the cathedral. I like the cathedral.
Okay. Ow. Up, oh, there's another page over this way. Okay. So, we have the syndicate who are governed by intelligence whose downfall is contempt of anybody who they perceive as not as intelligent as them. We have the marauders who are governed by strength whose hubris is that they look down on anybody they perceive as not as strong as them. And then we have the Covenant, who is governed by spirit, whose hubris is that they look down on anybody that does not believe as they do. So each of the three factions has its strengths, but it also has its fatal flaw. I am here on behalf of the Covenant seeking those who are similarly inspired. Do I see the spark of righteousness in this one? In a world beset by darkness, we are the light. We cannot stand by and watch others suffer. That is why I must make one request of you. Only the Covenant has the strength of spirit to cleanse Eternum for the benefit of all. Do not fall for the empty promises of others. Do you wish to feel the light of the spark shine upon you? The Ancients and their guardians have access to many wondrous items. Your task is to lay the Ancient Guardians at Arcturus to rest. Okay. So I need to go to Arcturnus. Alright, where is Arcturnus? It is out that way. Okay. Alright. And yes, um, out of the three factions, I did pick Covenant. Like I said, they all have their strengths and weaknesses. And... While I admire the strength, strength of the Marauders, that is not my path. And while I appreciate the intelligence of the Syndicate, I find them to be, I don't know, a little underhanded and sneaky. Which, to me, intelligence shouldn't be. But that's how they're portrayed. And besides, as a guardian, I just feel that the Covenant speaks to that the best. Oh, 
look. We have a corruption here. Let's see if we can. Yeah, it's, uh. We're not gonna get close to that. When the thing has a skull and crossbones in the place of a level, you know that means the level is just a little too high for you. looking ruins there. Huh, so this person is keeping a record of each of their deaths and how close they came to their goal. Very interesting. two more of those.
inventory that when I'm not here. like we go back and talk to our faction leader again. Bunny, bunny. Oh, you're so cute. No, I'm not gonna kill you. Now, if you were a turkey, all bets would be off. in the woods there. Ah, I see it. See him way off in the distance. I'm gonna leave him in peace for now. Nice big. But no beast of burden to pull the cart. It has just been left there abandoned. Now according to the more from what I can tell of Eternum. No beast of burden has remained domesticated. They simply revert back to being wild after a time. It's an interesting bit of lore, but they're also basically using it to justify not having mounts in the game. At least right now. The practical justification is that the map, the world of Eternum at this time, isn't really big enough to warrant needing mounts. And we have fast travel shrines and inns and houses and Azgoth for fast travel. Honestly, I mean, I'm in the camp that I would really like to have a mount. Simply because I like mount. But at the same time, I'm okay with the running. I mean, I wasn't at first. But I'm okay with the running. 
All right, I have done what you asked. You are glowing with the spark of purpose. It is a great mercy to rid such beings of their fated existence. These ancient orbs will prove valuable to our holy cause. Now the true work begins in stopping the corruption. You have my thanks, and the thanks of the Covenant. Hey! The light of the Covenant shines within you. So... Let's see what we have here. One of these do I want to attempt to do? River Warren Grotto, where is that? Long Shadow Enclave. I don't know where either of these places are. Let's take them both. Okay. I guess we're gonna find out. Uh, I'm gonna have. I think I'm gonna have to do them both because I have to get at least 300 rep. Now they didn't have this requirement. They're really pushing the factions in this game. Kind of with Tundra Jack that they need to allow the factionless a chance to progress the storyline too. Unpin that. Unpin that. Okay. So we've started on our faction quest. And. That was fun! I enjoyed that little bit of fighting. I will have to, let's see, let's go ahead and make our food, see what we can make, because obviously the next step, I'm going to need food. Travel ration. Well, we can make two travel rations. Another travel. Oh, we can make more travel rations. Good. Let's do the corn and honey. Okay. Let's make a couple light rations too.
Alright. So that gives us plenty of food. We have a few health potions. And next time, we're going to try to find these places that we need to go explore. See you in a little while.